What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I just got to the store. I think Ryan just got here. And so we're gonna grab some orders and then get the day started. Not much to say at the very beginning. Um, if you missed yesterday's vlog, definitely check that one out. We unboxed some pretty cool packages. And then we also had a father and son who flew all the way to, to Washington, Oregon from Oklahoma just to come to the store, which is crazy. So definitely check out yesterday's vlog. And uh, I guess for today, let's just jump into it. So I had purchased all this stuff to fix this Game Boy and slash mod it a while ago. And I haven't had time to do it, but since Kyle is our our pro modder here, <laughs> he's gonna do it. <laughs> that was a pretty cool looking screen though. It's got like the gold. Yeah, had a similar lens on the aluminum Game Boy I just sold for the Game Boy Advance. Awesome. So you think it'll probably be done tomorrow? Um, probably. Awesome. I mean, this shouldn't take too long. Honestly. We definitely gotta check it out. Uh, we'll film it and everything when you're done. Okay. But yeah, I just gotta do some little shell cutting and whatnot. Cool. To fit the screen. I'll let you get to work. All right. What you doing? <laughs> Factory resetting a 360. Awesome. Yeah. Doing, you know, the dirty work, the... <laughs> <laughs> so the peeps... The peeps wanted to know, what are your tattoos? What are my tattoos? Well, they noticed one of them looked a little fresh. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll start at the beginning. So my girlfriend gave me this guy and that was like her third tattoo she did for her apprenticeship program. So it's just like a little Pikmin on a mushroom. Like behind Pikmin are awesome. And this guy is a drowsy and he's smoking a joint in this hand. Very inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, pretty inappropriate stuff. Um, this guy's peeling a lot today. Cause this and, is the new one. Yeah, new one. So it's almost healed up, but yeah, it's Kirby. And I just got on Gumbo last Kirby. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, you and your Napoleon Dynamite shirt can get back to the 360. <laughs> Thank you for answering our for questions. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are closed now. Ryan's filming and we have some packages to open. So. Um, I'm gonna do these ones really quick because I'm pretty sure these are all just eBay ones, which are gonna be N64 games. You should have just given the ones that Ryan would be able to get what he needed. It's all right. It'll go by quick. Banjo Kazooie. Pretty sure this one is the order for a customer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> so Need for Speed Most Wanted for yeah. the original Xbox. For a good friend, Kool Aid. Yeah, we didn't have one in stock, and he'll ask us to order things if we don't have it. Yeah. And then this one comes in a box. Well, the last three come in boxes. <laughs> it's super light, though, so I can tell there's just <laughs> Amazon-style shipping. Yeah, love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's another N64 game. Let's hope it's authentic. Hopefully. Sometimes you can't tell from the photos because their photos are bad. Yeah. Or they like only show the front and it's like from far away. Yeah. Okay, it's definitely authentic. Another banjo. Nice. That one's like pretty worn actually. So two banjos. I know it's me. Another small box. What the heck? Okay, this is not from eBay. There's a note. It says, feel free to read on camera, right at the top. Hmm. All right. It says, hey, Double Job Crew, Connor at Gamer's Fortune, as Abby knows. Ah. Sending in a peep plush I found at the outlet earlier this week. <sighs> we have this exact plush. Yoda's holding yeah. it. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Yeah. I don't think right it has there. a tag, though. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Super rare. <clears throat> uh, it says, could only think of one of one perfect place to send it, and that was to you guys. I truly appreciate you guys making these awesome videos and encouraging people to think big, knowing how low your bank account was when you first opened, to seeing you guys now being ready to buy a house truly proves that a big investment can turn out nicely. You do not have to read this part on camera, but feel free to share if you would like. So I will, but to mention, just to comment on what he said, uh, knowing how low our bank account was when we first opened. We talked about that when we first opened the store. Literally, the day that we opened, we had $200 left in our bank. Oh, my gosh. And that, that is because we... We spent we almost spent every last dollar. But also, like, we didn't take out a loan to do the store. 
and that is like one thing when people talk to us about opening up their stores like we didn't take a loan because like for one i don't think we would have gotten approved Maybe. um and two just because like we just worked really hard to make it so we didn't have to do that but like you know if you need to take out a loan from the bank to do a business like you need to have a really solid business plan Mm -hmm. And it's really difficult to do that. And we've told people, like, when they're like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. It's like, well, we did it. And the day mm -hmm. we opened our store, we had 200 bucks in our personal bank account. And we had zero in the business bank account. Like, we mm -hmm. had nothing. Man. We spent everything we could opening the store. So wow. There's so many, like, hidden costs and stuff that you that you don't factor in, especially when you're first starting out. So, like, you know, we didn't even have our sign for the building for three months. Because yeah. that was... That was five thousand dollars. We had six thousand dollars. Get the funds from PRGE. We went to PRGE our first year as a business, and almost we used the good money chunk from that. Of that went to to the sign and getting it installed, getting it made, and everything. So we had three months of business where we had no signs, Man. and people would be like, "Where are you?" And we'd have to describe. We're like, "Map to Alpine Cleaners, right there." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Uh, he continues on here. When I was young, I grew up mostly on the Wii. However, I did play my mom's PS1 and GameCube a little bit. As time went on, I eventually moved, or I, I eventually mostly played on the 360. Roughly a year and a half ago, when we moved here to Washington from Minnesota, a buddy of mine started to get me into reselling and video game collecting. After finding your channel and learning about expensive remotes, the video games and video games, it truly helped me learn even more. Now, I basically do daily trips to the Everett Goodwill outlet, getting tons of crazy vintage toys, Lego, plushies, and sometimes video game-related hauls. Nice. If if you ever plan to come up here to the outlet, I'd love to show you guys how insane it is and what you can come across. Uh, I found the Donkey Kong 2 Game & Watch, Donkey Kong 3 Micro System, tons of PS4 controllers, and the box for the gold... New York uh, GBA and tons mm. more. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. If I were ever to plan on selling my entire collection, if you have the space for it, of course, I know exactly where I would sell it to. You guys are awesome and you truly right. do make a huge difference in the gaming and YouTube community. P.S. Be sure to keep out... Be sure to keep an eye out for... Oh, I will be sure to keep an eye out for more stuff to send you guys away. P.S. Like Ryan, I'm big into Star Wars, so I might send him... I might send him some stuff Send. I might send some stuff for him eventually. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. Awesome. Well, thank you. Like I said, we do have another one that Yoda's holding. So I see these every now and then at Goodwill. So maybe we'll we'll like build up a little peep army. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty just cool. Just like you open the bathroom and there's just like hundreds of peeps on the ground and you're just like, heck yeah. What is this? <laughs> so this one is from Beaverton. Which is an eBay purchase, and I think this is. I know is. This Cooper, is for me. While mm -hmm. he's opening that, Cooper, like he's like he's like, oh my gosh, look at this thing! It's so cool. And I am like the ultimate like wing woman in the sense of like I'm not going to tell you to not buy something. Even Ryan knows that I'm really bad about this. <laughs> but I was just like, yeah, buy. I was like, you're gonna regret it. But like the other day, Ryan's like, I might want a motorcycle. And I was like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> and he was like, really? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then the other day, Devin's like, I want to get a switch light. And I'm like, buy one. So like, I'm really bad because I encourage other people because I just want them to be happy. And so Cooper got something, and I really hope he's happy with it. And he's gonna show you. Yeah. yeah. So, so <clears throat> this is something that I've wanted for a very long time. Every time we see it, it's at a game store and it's never for sale. Mm -hmm. It's a sign. Ooh. And it is the Nintendo That's 64 cool. double-sided plastic sign. Okay. That's cool. It's a little dirty. We'll clean it up. But I it's supposed it to have a stand. Bigger than that. <laughs> no. You've seen it. They have one at uh, Video Game Wizards. I've never but, been inside of video game lizards. Okay, well, the other little store that was near Retro Game Trader in the mall, they also had one. Okay, I do. And you've definitely that. been there. But they <laughs> in Beaverton, there was Retro Game Trader, and then the only other store in Beaverton was called Game Trader. <laughs> mm. They were not affiliated with each other. Weird. Game Trader's gone now, though. They closed. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it needs a, needs a cleaning, especially this side. It's supposed to have a little stand at the bottom as well, which is, which is missing, which is not a big deal. What's really cool about this sign, though, is that... I think they're like glued on, but if you take this like N64 piece off, it's World of Nintendo underneath. What? 
So I might do that with one side. Oh man. So that I have, you know, the that double sided amazing. thing. That's amazing. Um, cause these signs were sent out to stores back when like NES was out. And then mm -hmm. instead of sending a whole new sign, they just sent these cover pieces to the stores that they could attach. That's cool. I don't know how they're attached. Like I said, I think they're glued on or something. So I'm not just going to rip one off. I'm going to have to do some research first, but yeah, very, very cool. And this was like yeah. cheap. This was 200 bucks, mm -hmm. which normally the sign goes for four to 500. I saw it newly listed and I was like, I got to get it. So I would have nice. paid more than that if I had walked into a store and seen it for sale. So I was very happy with that price. So we have two more packages to open. One is our factory sealed game shipment that just came in today. And then Ryan and I are probably going to open that together. And then we have one other box that came all the way from Japan. And it's a lot of stuff. So we're going to open that one last. All right. So Ryan cut it open here. Yep. Let me grab the, the little invoice real quick. Here is this. All right. Let's do it. All right. Ryan's got a game in here, which is why he's excited. Yeah. And it's right on top. Oh, can you guys see it? It's something you've already seen before. <laughs> so this is mine. And then we got well, how many Ryan, other ones? Ryan will get to pick the yeah, best one. I'll probably, yeah, uh, look through them all. So Sorry, I think guys. You don't get the nicest one. We have five total, so Ryan's taken one of those. Yeah. And then I've already seen these, so let's do these. Got yeah. a Odamas. Got five of those as well. Yeah. We gotta make sure we have room. Yeah. <laughs> There's almost 200 <laughs> games in here. Oh boy. All right, got a couple Rayman Arenas. Oh, sorry. Two of them. A couple One Piece Grand Battles. These are cool. Got two of the Fantasy Star Online 3s. Very cool. We have a Trans World Surf. We just sold one of these today. And then we have two Evolution Worlds. Have we had this one before? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got Bomberman Jetters. So one of them has like this little hole in the saran wrap. Here's a new one that we have never ordered before. Oh, this one's kind of ripped up. Yeah. These other two are good, though. But we have three copies of The Cursed Crusade for the Xbox 360. It's an Atlas title. This one, like we said, it's a little little ripped at the top there. Shoot. <laughs> I might, <laughs> might want to get one of these. <laughs> Got Dragon Ball Origins 2. Very cool. <laughs> I've actually played this game, and it is good. We have Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Got Final Fantasy Tactics A2. And Final Fantasy 4. That's cool. Got Harvest Moon DS Cube and Harvest Moon DS Grand Bazaar. Oh, cool. Here's another Grand Bazaar. Another Grand Bazaar there. And then we have Radiant Historia. Here's another Harvest Moon Cube. We have some Pokemon Suns. There might be more of the Pokemon Suns in here. I thought I ordered more. Got Bit Trip Saga. I think that's what that says. Resident Evil. Mercenaries. Demonetized. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> All right, got two of these. Uh, Etrian Odyssey, Etrian Odyssey 2, Untold, the Fog, uh, whatever. We Something also there. have the first one. <laughs> yeah, some of these are new that they, they either didn't have before or we have just never ordered. I know we had this one, so we got Deadly Premonition that comes with the little cards. Yes, and someone specifically yeah. requested these. So um, if you were that person, you were emailing me, definitely head to the website and try to get one of those right now because we only have two. I can order more, but we only ordered two this time. Yeah. We also have Dr. La I think it's Lautrec and the Forgotten Knights. Most of the games I just ordered two of uh, because there's just so many games to order. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a bit. Got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. We have Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth, two of those, and then two copies of the second one. This one's cool. Got Mega Man Legacy Collection, two of those. 
Antama Antamarama, I think it is. We've ordered this game before, but only once, so wanted to get some again. Got Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D. Intuitive. We have Ultimate Mortal Kombat and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Got a Shimigami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Yeah, got two of those. This one. And Stella Glow. That one does not look good. That seal looks kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> We also have Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. We have two of those. And also Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. Two of those. I'm just gonna put some of these over here so I've got more ready. Okay. All right. Got Seventh Dragon 3 Code VFO. Got two of those. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna say good game. Yeah. And we also have two of the Legend of Legacy. These are the big box ones with the art book and the soundtrack. We just got one of these traded in pre-owned. Uh, I think Ryan wanted it, but I don't think he actually ended up buying it. But we got two sealed ones as well now. <laughs> That's that song that was playing to this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got High Ham Taro, Ham Ham Challenge. Little Hamsters, Big Adventures, pretty awesome. <laughs> Got Harvest Moon DS, Sunshine Islands, two of those. And then we have Return to Popo LaCroix, Story of Seasons Fairy Tale, two of those. River City Rival Showdown, this is, uh, has a keychain in there as well. You guys have seen this one, got two Okamiden. Two Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for 3DS. And two Shin Megami Tensei 4s. I think they've seen this one too. Got River City Super Sports Challenge. Two Magical Star Signs. Two Lunar Knights. And two Heroes Saga. Uh, Leviathan Tactics. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce that word. I think we've gotten that one before as well, but only once. All right, I'm moving on to Vita. Got Pepper's Place. It's a good one. It's a good one. You guys There's have it. There's definitely more copies of that one. Got more Pepper's Place. So here's four so far. Yeah, look at that. There's either four or five. I can't remember. There's other Vita games in here, so yeah. they might be mixed together. So we have Longest Five Minutes, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, Asphalt Injection, two of those. There should be two of all the Vita games, except for papers. I, I ordered more. Got Corpse Potty, Blood Drive. Penny Punching Princess, Resistance Burning Skies, Soul Sacrifice. These are basically just restocks of yeah. all the Vita games we've gotten Child before. Uh, what is that one? Senran Kagura, Muv Love, Dungeon Travelers 2, Drive Girls, and Rayman Origins. Assassin's Creed Chronicles, and two Batman. Uh, Arkham Origins. Another Black Rayman. <laughs> and then... I'll just go through these Switch games real quick. For the Nintendo Switch, trying to keep some of those Mario games and stuff in stock. So we have New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. A couple of those. Super Mario Maker 2. There's another Mario All-Stars, Mario Party, Mario Odyssey, and Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury. And another Mario Party, Paper Mario Origami King, Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario Odyssey, Mario Bowser's Fury, and another Origami King. I've got five of the Shimigami Tensei P uh, P3F, Persona 3, whatever. Persona 3 FES? Yeah, that one. <laughs> We also have five of the Persona 4s. Five of the Digital Devil Saga. Five Digital Devil Saga 2s. And five Nocturnes, which is coming out on the Switch, oh. I've heard. Lastly, we have some Wii U games. We have 007 Legends, got three copies. Got three copies of Hello Kitty, uh, Cruisers. And three copies of the Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition for the Wii U.
So that's it. That's everything out of that one. So we're gonna clear off some space here, and then we're gonna open up the last package. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, this is it. Bless you. Bless you. Thank I don't you. know what's in here. Ryan doesn't even is know. Is that a phone dying or is that a text message? That's a text message. Okay. From my sister. Okay, so in this box, I don't even remember the website. It's a Japanese named website. Someone sent us a link to the website in the YouTube comments and I checked it out and this was like a month ago and I was like, oh, this is really, really cool. But that was at a point where like we weren't trying to spend any money. Hmm. And I mean, even this I bought two weeks ago now um, came pretty quickly considering it came from, from Japan, but they have a Japanese version of the website and an American version of the website and prices are pretty good. The only problem is that everything is translated from Japanese to English, I think with Google Translate, or they have some sort of translator on the website. So the descriptions don't make sense for most items. <laughs> and it's really hard to tell if, if the items are tested, if they include the box or not, or anything like that. It's really difficult to tell because some items will say no box in the title, but then other ones won't but then the picture will be of like a loose item. So mm -hmm. I really don't know. I use my best judgment when making purchases and figured like, you know, if this is only worth it complete, I didn't get it. I only got it if it was worth it loose, then if it happens to be complete, that's a bonus. So there's a few things for our personal collection in here, which is mostly just games, but there's a lot of controllers and accessories in here, which is what we got to sell, for, you know, in the store. So Ryan doesn't know what's in here. There's at least one item that I know Ryan's gonna want. So. This is the center yeah. one from Pumbaro, right? Yep. yep. Alrighty. Oh, got an invoice there. Okay, so that has the box. Ooh, <laughs> oh, man. Guess how much this was. First I up, have no clue. we have a Sega Saturn oh arcade gosh. stick in the box. That is so cool. This was $6. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It was 800 yen. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> oh, hey, Ryan. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's two of them. Oh, my gosh. That one's kind of ripped up, but, Dang. I mean, can you complain? No. <laughs> Holy crap. That's so cool. This needs to be saved for last. Okay, okay. okay so Ooh. the the games in here are what I got for our personal collection. So these are all Wii U games. We have a Yokai Watch Just Dance with a remote. That's cool. <laughs> we also have a like Monster Hunter Try with the white classic controller. Oh, <gasps> Don't look at that yet. <laughs> we have Common Rider Bat Ride War 2. Common Rider Bat Ride War 2. It's the same thing, but they have different covers. Um, another Just Dance, Yokai Watch. Uh, I have no idea what that one is. Oh, it's it's got Animal Crossing characters. I have no clue what that is. It's probably Amiibo Festival. That's what it looks like. No, because I didn't order. That looks weird. Well, look at your invoice. I have no clue what that could be. I didn't. I tried to only order Japanese exclusives, so it shouldn't be. I'm gonna show the peeps this. Okay. While he's looking at that. Here's a cool classic Pro Controller in the box. Looking real nice. It's kind of weird how it's like, has the tab okay. on the front. Were there any other Vita games? Yeah. I have just one of the game. That one, I think there's only one. So that controller, I also didn't know was gonna come in the box. Yeah. So this one is actually local railways, local character and nationwide travel. <laughs> <laughs> we also have one Piece Unlimited World Red. We have the Biohazard Dark Side Chronicles Collector's Package. That's pretty cool, huh, Ryan? Oh, that is it's like a double, Ooh. double disc Ooh. thing. Let's look at it, cause, oh man. Ooh. well, it's not a double disc, but there's a little piece of cardboard. <laughs> there's the game Ooh. and then I guess the manual. Why is that not in the case? <laughs> Might be an and then we have this with the little slip cover. Yeah, that's There's a couple extra discs in here, that's DVD, cool. and that's a CD. So I'm assuming soundtrack and DVD. That's cool. Very, very cool. 
And nice. hopefully we can order some more from this place because it'd be really cool to get me one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but it'd be really cool to get some stuff like this for the store as well. Yeah, like if they had that. if they had multiple copies of this, then I would have bought multiple. I'll just put that in there. Yeah. Um, and then we also have the Monster Hunter try with the. Okay, so this one there are there are two of these here. So one of these will be sold. Mm. Nice. Okay, well, and then some of this stuff. yeah. So those are all the games. Here's just a regular classic controller. Nothing too big about that. The thing um, though is that yeah, where where is the? It's probably really cheap. Yeah, like the classic controller was 778 yen. So this was like like five or six bucks. Right. And we sell them for 12.99 and can't keep them in stock. Mm. Got some wireless adapter for Game Boy Advance. And this stuff's all region free, which is, yeah. you know, why. We have a blue Wii Motion Plus remote. That's cool. That one's really cool. Oh! I thought it was just a pink controller, but it's the Millennium controller for yeah, Dreamcast. And we already have one of these at home in the garage yeah. that we haven't, like, tested yet. So we're going to have two of those. That's so cool. We also have this Splatoon Amiibo Diorama which is pretty cool. So it's like Aww. you put it together and it's like a little display thing to like put your Splatoon Amiibos on. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's cool. This thing's so faded. Like the, the plug-in looks orange on this side. <laughs> it's pink on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you show this because I'm pretty sure this is the one you're going to want. I want this so bad. I, I haven't even seen the front of it. Here, I'll show you what I've seen. This is what I've seen. <laughs> See that port right there? That's, that's a PS1 port. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that little guy. It's oh, a little Cory so, controller. So freaking cool. And it's like mint green. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Oh, that's so cool. See how the shoulder buttons work? Yeah. So I would have bought that for the store either way, but I knew that you were going to want it. Oh yeah. Um, so that Real one... Bad. Where is it? Yeah, I think it's this one. You can it, tell me the price later off camera. It was about 10 bucks. Cool. <laughs> so last two things. That is so cool. This Man, one. So, cool. so this one I thought might come with the box just from the way that it was like listed on the website, but apparently it doesn't. Ooh. Yeah, Ryan knows. Yeah. This might look a little familiar to you guys. So we've been selling the the brand new <laughs> aftermarket version, but we have an original yeah. Cory digital GameCube controller. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, these are, I mean, this is super cool. It's basically that's a Super awesome. Nintendo controller that's got a little bit of extra plastic on the back to grip. So cool. Yeah. That yeah, is very, very cool. cool. So, the last item in here, yeah. I was telling Ryan earlier, he doesn't know what this is, but there's, there's one item that uh, we have not had in stock since before he started working. We've only ever had one. We had it when we opened, and it sold in three days. We've never had another one. Jeez. You want to move that? Yeah. This was by far the most expensive thing that I bought. Mm -hmm. Looks like some kind of... <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh, you guys got <laughs> one? Oh my gosh. We have a Neo Geo AES. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. And it came with both of the cables, power and AV, oh, and then also big joystick controller here. So, cool. so we have Holy three cow. games in the glass case, so we're gonna be able to fully test this and everything. Oh man. But yeah, we, I mean, we have not had one of these in such a long time. And like these, as far as I know, they're not like region locked or anything. Uh, this is like a standard North American plug. Like sometimes the, like the European plugs and the Japanese plugs, they can look a little bit different. This is very standard. And I never even held it. Um, yeah, so this is super, super cool. The last time we had one of these was, like I said, like the first three days that we were open as a store. And I thought that it would sit around forever. And we opened on, we, do we open on Friday or Saturday? I don't know. We either opened on a Friday or Saturday, and I'll always remember this, but this thing sold on Monday. So we only had it for a couple days. Yeah. of being open we got it before we opened obviously but at that time we had one game that we sold with it i can't even remember what the game was it was like a 50 dollars cartridge but we sold the bundle for 600 
and it sold in th in three days like i said this one we're not going to be packing with a game because we already have the games separately in the system but this is very very cool yeah and mm -hmm. this is just an awesome thing to have in the store very awesome so yeah super cool so ryan happy yeah. birthday what what and thank you guys for watching oh <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave for the night. Abby left earlier. She's hanging out with her friend Christina. It is 9.23. I just got all the factory sealed stuff into the system, so that's all done. If you're interested in any of that stuff, it's on the website right now. We have a factory sealed games category, if you guys didn't know. So if you're looking at, like, 007 for the Wii U, it's in the Wii U games category, but it's also in the factory sealed category. So we do that just to make it easy for people who are just looking for sealed stuff. It's much easier to find it like that. So that's all done. It has not been stickered. It has not been tagged. It has not been photographed. It is not in the glass cases yet. So that's going to be done tomorrow. I'm not doing that. I have already been here long enough just trying to get them in the system. Uh, but here's half of them. The other half is over here. The only ones that I did tag and put away because they're very, very easy are the Switch games. So they are all across the front down there. Looks really, really good. It's awesome to have all those Mario games in stock. The only one I didn't order, and it's just because I don't think it's a really popular seller, is the Mario and Sonic at the, at the 2020 games or 2021 games, whatever it is. I didn't order that, but if you guys are interested, I definitely can. I just chose to avoid that one for this order. So, like I said, the stuff's all done. The Japanese stuff that we unboxed is not in the system yet. I'm going to enter that in tomorrow. So, um, to later today, if you're watching this on the day that I upload it, that stuff could be up. But as of filming right now, it is not. So, I'm going to gather my stuff and head home, edit this vlog, and just watch some TV, wait for Abby. We've been watching Blacklist, obviously, but, like, when we watch a show, I get really into it. I like watching it every night. You know, we try. I try to watch a few episodes every night after work, and I like just doing that, you know, as we eat dinner and just kind of relax, and Abby gets burnt out on shows if we do that, so... We started watching another show called Designated Survivor, which I'm really, really liking. Abby is not as into it, and she watched the first couple episodes with me, and then she's like, because usually we watch the shows together, but she's like, fine, you can watch it without me. I just, you know, I don't really care. And so I've been watching that, and I'm just basically waiting for her to be ready to watch Blacklist again, because that's the one I want to watch. But Designated Survivor is really, really good as well, watching that on Netflix. So I'm going to get to home, get going, get home, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I can't even talk. God, it's been a long day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really, really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.